The land of Remolar. Okay. Uh, island? What island? I don't see an island. Camera, you're not working with me. Surrounded by crystal clear water. Okay. Or do you mean this little island that I'm standing on right now? Because that doesn't seem like it actually had has enough space to put a v an actual town on. Okay, she's giving me a gift. Oh, that island! Well, it's more like a peninsula though, because it does seem to have a permanent landmass that's above water, tied to part of it, so that doesn't make it an entire island. Okay, so we've got to learn things from the beginning again. Start with pretty much nothing. And that's how you start every chapter, with pretty much nothing. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and whatever else is watching. My name is Nick, and we are once more playing Dragon Quest Builders. This time, we left Terra Incognita and had it for Rimoldar. If you can see in my item uh, box, I have the Banner of Hope. That is the gift that the goddess just gave me. And I have a Plumberry. Remember, at the end of the episode, or at the end of the chapter in Cantlin, Rolo gave us a gift that he had to give us from Pippa. We got... A plumberry from Pippa. That's this plumberry. And that's the only thing that kind of survived. Well, almost survived, survived traveling here. Uh, because as you can see, the rest of our bar is pretty empty. If I go to my items, I don't have my colossal coffer either anymore. So be well, mindful with what you pick up. Um, as you may... Ouch, that's the poisonous water. Yeah. That hurts if you get in there. And like, ooh, a frog stool. If you land in there, yeah, you will get hurt. It's not like the water that's in... Uh, in uh, Kentland, so yeah. But being here it at the Banner of Hope, let's place it and start our new town. And the music also start, uh, becomes far more well, homey, I have to say. A little bit more pleasing to the ear. A blighted land. Fear of disease. Ooh. That doesn't sound good. Okay, in Cantlin, they pretty much are prospering at this moment. But, and now we have to do the same for Remoldar. 
So let's build this town. Let's rebuild our next step. Well, our next step in rebuilding Elfgard. Okay. I'm curious who will be the first one. Purify this land. Uh, do you see that water? I don't think I'm gonna... That's gonna be an entire task on its own, you know? Okay, you're watching. So you're not doing anything? Oh, uh, well. Yeah, well. Okay. Oh, here's our very first villager. Who are you? Um, I'm not a patient. I'm not ailing anything. What's a patient anyway? Um, what's the matter with me? No, nothing hurts. Hey! Why are you talking about my head this way? No, the only thing that's matter with me is that I have to rebuild Remoldar here. Make it a new bustling town once more. I am not to do anything else. Um, no, I did not make that flag. I just planted it. Rubus gave me, gave me the flag, though. Pretty much, pretty much. Oh, pleased to meet you, Le uh, uh, L. Okay. Did she just call me a lamb? Somehow I am uh, disturbed by that. Okay, as you have noticed probably, up in the right corner and uh, up in the left corner, we have a clock. And we have our hunger meter. So our first things first is to build ourselves the basic necessities of, well, shelter and food. So let's get a basic bedroom and a crude kitchen going, okay? Uh, this town pretty much has all the, well, most of the most of the materials we need although I really have no idea what to do with these column bones that just seems so wrong we need to bury them okay or, prob or ultimately crush everything turn it to dust that's very uh, nice for the people who left here and and we also have a campfire here already. Yeah, that's gonna be useful. Or a bonfire, I have to say. We have some crates. Uh, dilapidated crates. Well, that doesn't serve much of a purpose. Um, let's take a look at our crafting station, shall we? This is the carpenter's workstation. It's a tad bit different from what we first had the stonemason's workstation uh, it does have some of the same uh, recipes like we had before such as a healing cream medicinal herb chimera wink torch and bonfire we also have wood however this time wood is not made from plumberry lumber but palm lumber instead so we are going to get palm trees oh we have cord. We have also a straw door that came back. But unlike the grass, leaves and branches that we had before, we are now using the strong stalks. On our stonemason workstation, we could do nothing with the strong, strong stalks. However, here we can do something. And considering I need a kitchen and a uh, bedroom, 
Let's see, I can make two of them, can I? Yes, I can. Also something that would be useful is to have a chest where I can put in stuff that I don't immediately need. And well, um, we already see that there is some basic bedding over here. Uh, let's move this because otherwise the ghosts are gonna use it as well to get over the walls and that's something I don't like oh you I want to have well it doesn't matter where it is but I am lacking in materials Oh. I need blocks. I'll probably pick some blocks later. Uh, let's see. Put this one here and then this here. And I have my basic bedroom. At least I can go to bed now when it starts to become... Uh, well, dark. Next up, let's build ourselves a crude kitchen or something. Of course, monsters appear near my base. Is it going to be... Oh, it's going to be dead. Those guys. Oh, those are nasty monsters. Please don't see me. Um, let's put... Something over here and... Let's see if I can get up here to... Or not. L, you can take care of it. Yes, you can. Okay, that's one thing. I uh, probably don't need this big of a uh, stuff thing. Well, maybe I do. Well, I'll see you later. Well, no, let's break down this. I'm gonna need a lot more. And as you can notice, it's already getting late. So let's finish up my kitchen a little bit. This should be sufficient. Draw a door. Let's see if I can make something of a another chest. Yes. I need two chests in this tent. And I am in need of a bonfire which uses strong stalks and broken branches. Well, here we have strong stalks. And for the broken branches I have to go a little bit further outside. Seriously? Can't I hit this? Uh, you may also notice these trees don't give wood. Yeah. You will find only those barren trees in... In... Uh, in this area. So no wood, no colossal coffer. Also no fur in this place. So uh, we have things here in the poison that also give branches. Uh, but mostly, I think I'm going to go to bed now. Bye! Okay! I think next up was... Well... But I'm... I'm uh, missing, still missing the strong stalks. Can I see a clear? Yeah, over there. Ooh. This is also something interesting. This is pretty much normal water. Like we had in Cantlin. I will go over that a little bit later. Uh, when I'm... Well... When it becomes more relevant for the story. So don't worry about that one. 
Okay, let me put that. Yes. Let's place... It doesn't have to be big. That's the first built an empty room. And now put in my chest. And it turns into a crude kitchen. Unfortunate, however, I don't think L ever does any cooking. So, yeah. It just means that, hey, I have something already to go for and when other villagers are, uh, will arrive that will be something that we can use um, okay as you can see for food we don't have any more mushrooms instead we have these fried frog stools those will be our main sustenance for this chapter, the frog stools itself. So, yeah. Oh. The uh, fried egg also makes it, makes it return. Actually, does it make my re return? Was it the boiled egg? No, I think it was a fried egg that we had. At least the boiled butter beans, that's something we know from our, uh, from Cantlin. We will find them uh, soon as well. So that will be these two. The fried frog stool and the boiled butter beans will be our main source for, well, pretty much most of uh, our food requirements. Let's get ourselves. Um, I have plants. I already, because I've played this uh, game most often. I have plans to for this, um, I will say it, for the town and it will start off by leveling everything. Yeah, I'm gonna level everything. Good thing though that I have a, that I got a mallet at the beginning of this uh, chapter. That's also something. Um, we got a mallet and an oaken club compared to uh, the previous chapter where we all only got a cypress stick we do get some of the advantages that uh, that were discovered in Cantlin. you are not completely uh, left to uh, to its mercy uh, or having to discover everything again. I think I'm gonna need some more strong stocks for the next room that I am going to build. Because in... Because that room will involve... Well, something very simple. Let's start with a straw door. And a bonfire, I need blue goo. There you are. Yeah, here early on in the game, you also will find a lot of slimes. Those are the source for your blue goo. Or milk blossom butts. Pink petals. Unfortunately, pink petals cannot be used for for the well. I think I have sufficient slime. Those are supposed to be rare drops. Jeez, I was wanted the uh, the slime uh, actually earlier. Hmm. Well, if you have in need of something, then you can't find it. Bonfire. Okay. Oh! L does some cooking! Maybe it's because... Well, we're still at the beginning of the ge beginning of the chapter. Oh, I'm also forgetting something else. 
because later on I don't think she will cook that much anymore. Maybe it is now because she hasn't anything else to do. Uh, let's put this one in here. Yes, just like the previous chapter. Making a room with a chest and a workstation gives a special room. In this sense, it's a carpenter's workshop. And because I tried it out already before, uh, it's not going to give me my pop-up. Carpenter's workshop. It requires a carpenter's workstation, a chest and a light source. Residents will build furniture and materials and put them in the chest. Yeah, I already uh, started this chapter once before, but I actually didn't like my commentary at then. And it also went on a little bit longer than I had wished for. And yeah, it wasn't that well. And it was a lot of improvisation that didn't went the correct direction. So yeah, but let's see what L has done as our beginning quest. Oh, the island is infected by blight. Yeah, Rubus already told us something. Sickness. Oh, that's commendable. She actually wants to heal. She wants to help everyone. To take care of this blight. And how can't we say no to that? Someone wants to do a genuine good for this world. How can we say no to that? Oh, that happens to my uh, to myself as well. <laughs> If I am uh, in a hurry to get, get somewhere or to go somewhere, I always trip over nothing actually. I trip over the ground. A floor, uh, a floor that is smoothly... Uh, you can actually... Well, it's very smooth that you can actually slide over it without anything. I can trip over that floor. Uh, healing cream to rub on it. Oh yeah, healing cream. Uh, she wants us to make some healing cream. Okay. Healing cream requires three white petals. Well, I have these milk blossom buds, but to... Uh, for uh, the sake of showing things off, I will not be using them. I will put them away because because I will show you now where you are getting the milk blossom buds to begin with. For example, you see here a lot of purple grass. No milk blossom bud will ever grow on the purple grass the witch grass you can find coral lilies here these pink petals and i need slime but as you can see in the distance there are some white petals ow what do you drop those are drools and they drop nothing. I am going to need... No, not already. I'll see you back when uh, it's daytime again. Okay, I'm back. I rested. It's now daytime and... Well, I can see something over here that I'm gonna need soon anyway. So, and that is... I am going to need this ivy. 
that is going to be very important. Well, not this chapter, but at least in a later chapter. But also, here on top of the green grass, that's where you can find our white petals. You also can see I have already access to medicinal leaves. You don't have to wait until the second area for that one. And these are our butter beans. For our very useful uh, part, the, grassy, uh, the green grass areas are pretty much the places where you want to go. And of course you are here. Botkin archers. They are annoyance as heck because they always walk away from you. And they can poison you. Or these were the Botkin boyers, boyers or something. Hey. <laughs> that was lucky. And poison is not a really good status. Also something I uh, forgot to point out. But I am wearing Wayfair clothes. Yeah, you might not think of it because I'm uh, the girl avatar this time. Around. Ooh, we also have orange. Uh, orange uh, slimes here. Yeah, because I have the... Ouch! Ouch, ouch, ouch! I don't have any medicine made just yet. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I have the girl avatar, I am wearing actually a re red version of the Wayfarer clothes. You can change the uh, avatar anytime you want from the main menu before you select a save game or load it up. You can change your avatar, hair, customization, everything, color, uh, eye color, skin color, everything can be changed from the menu. I thought for this chapter let's go for, eh, well, the girl look as, the, uh, as something. Ooh, that was what I was searching for as well. This is cotton. This is gonna be very important in uh, this game, at least at the beginning. You're gonna be using that a lot more. Because, unlike Cantlin, Remolder requires a little bit more fancier furniture. And why? Can't you stay? Don't run away! And I'm... Oh, poisoned. I'm very poisoned. Of course, I... Uh... Yeah, I am really embarrassed about this one. I am really, really, really embarrassed. Okay, um, I'll see you back when I get my stuff again. Okay, here's my stuff once more. And just like previously, I am under attack by several of these Botkin archers. And I'm already getting hurt by them as well. So let's get out of here. Because... Those guys are so <laughs> annoying because they run away which makes them hard to hit and everything and that's just not fun. But again, as you can see I am not running butt naked, that's what I was originally uh, going about. We started off with Wayfair clothes. This is several levels ahead from the, uh, the rags that we originally started in in Cantlin. So we do get something with us. Although if we had left with armor, we still would have ended up with Wayfair clothes. Because that's what Rubus decides to give us. Okay, let's make some healing cream. As many as I can. 
and medicinal herbs. Just one. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's put this away. This away. This away. Yeah, I found that can be gone. I have to put those differently. Those, those. Tidy it up. L is happy because I made some uh, healing cream. And. Yes, that's why I made it. And that's why I also died. No, actually I was careless. I was really, really careless. But it does show that if you start this chapter off, you are really squishy again. At the end of the previous chapter, you had so much HP, you had so many healing items, that you pretty much could tank a lot of hits before you could, well, you get would get hurt or anything. At the beginning of this chapter, you don't. At the beginning of any new chapter, you feel really uh, exposed and really vulnerable. So, that's one thing. And that's also one of the complaints I think many people had with... Uh, uh, she has blessed me already. Okay, if you say so. Okay. Broken branches. Well, that's a good thing. Um, okay, I think I will end this episode with this. I will end it here. Uh, in between episodes, I am going to start on my planning for this chapter, even though it's really early on. Um, because it's going to give me a lot of dirt. And it probably will allow me to set up a basic wall around the town already. Well, pretty much the basic thing, thing that I'm going to do is actually level everything to the same level. Unlike uh, Camplin, where I worked with the different heights that the area provided me. I am going to level everything to the same height in this uh, chapter because I have my reasons for it. It may, well, it may make a different interesting uh, vibe of a uh, of a chapter or, or of a uh, town than previously in Cantlin. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to plan. So you probably will be seeing a somewhat different uh, town in the next episode already. But I thank you all for watching. And I hope I can keep your attention towards the next episode. Until then. And bye.